Hey guys, this is LJ with HeartStartNola.com and today we're talking about calculating infusions using gravity. So sometimes in pre-hospital medicine or emergency medicine, we'd like to give an infusion of a medication, but we don't have a medication pump. So the question is, can we get it done? The answer is yes. All we have to do is grab our infusion, grab our drop set, and then we need to figure out what kind of drop set that we're using, whether it's a 10 drop set, a 15 drop set, or a 60 drop set. Now remember, with a drop set, what we're trying to figure out is how many drops equals one milliliter in the drip chamber. So really what the question becomes is, how do we calculate drops per minute? So to calculate drops per minute, we have to know a couple of things. We have to know the volume to be infused, we have to know what the drip factor is, and that's just the drop set that we'll be using. So whether it's a 10 drop set, a 15 drop set, or a 60 drop set. And then finally, we need to know our total time in minutes for our desired infusion. Once we have that, you'll see we'll set our formula up, and we'll have our volume in milliliters multiplied by our drip factor, which is just our drop set, and then we'll divide that by our total time in minutes. When we calculate that, we'll get our drops per minute. A quick review of these drop sets means that we have to count how many drops go into our drip chamber over a minute. So we need to count. So we can either count the drops over 60 seconds that come into the drip chamber, or like taking a manual pulse, you can count for 30 seconds and then multiply by two to get how many drops are coming into the drip chamber. And if you need to speed up your infusion, what you'll do is you'll just use this roller ball and you're on the clamp and you'll come up a little bit and then you'll recount. Or if you need to slow it down, you'll roll the ball back to you and then recount and then we'll get as close as we can get using gravity. Let's look at a couple of practice problems to see how that works. So for this problem, we have a two gram infusion of magnesium that's been prepared in 250 milliliters of D5W for a patient experiencing status asthmaticus. So we'd like to use a 10 drop set to administer the magnesium infusion over 20 minutes. We'll set our formula up and you can see we have 250 milliliters for our volume. We'll multiply that by 10, which is our drop set. So you see that we have a 10 drop set. And then we'll divide that by our total time in minutes, which is 20. When we run that out, you'll see that we get 125 drops per minute to make sure that our patient gets that magnesium infusion over 20 minutes on a 10 drop set. Our next problem is we have TXA that's been ordered for an adult trauma patient. The TXA has been prepared in a 100 milliliter solution. We'd like to use a 15 drop set this time to administer our TXA over 10 minutes. We'll set our formula up and you can see that we have 100 milliliters for our volume. We'll multiply that by 15 for our drop set, and then we'll divide that by our total time in minutes, which is 10, and when we run that out, you'll see that we need to get 150 drops per minute using a 15 drop set to make sure our patient gets that TXA over 10 minutes. Let's look at one more. We have an amiodarone infusion that's indicated for a pediatric patient in stable ventricular tachycardia. The amiodarone's been prepared in 100 milliliters of normal saline. We'd like to use a 60 drop set this time to administer the amiodarone infusion over 30 minutes. You see when we set our formula up that we have 100 milliliters for our volume. We'll multiply that by 60 for our 60 drop set and then we'll divide that by our total time in minutes which is 30. When we calculate that you'll see that we have 200 drops per minute using a 60 drop set. If you're handing infusions to gravity on a regular basis, we recommend that you get a quick reference guide. Most infusions that we hang to gravity are made in 100 milliliters or 250 milliliter infusions and hung over 10 minutes, 20 minutes, or 30 minutes on a 10 drop, 15 drop, or 60 drop set. Thanks for watching our video. We hope you learned something. Check out the show notes and visit HeartStartNola.com for HeartStartNola reference cards, guidebooks, and other great stuff to help you with your pre-hospital, emergency, or critical care needs. This is LJ with HeartStartNola.com saying, See you next time.